Another thing we can tell about this corn sheet is that there's too many cords. So, um, here we go. Oh, come let us adore him. Stays on E. Oh, come let us adore him. Hit the B. That's fine. And then, um, oh, come let us adore him. Okay, that's pretty good. It's about one one chord every two beats. Oh, come let us adore him. So we're going to need to eliminate that one. We got Christ the Lord. So it looks like we'll only have to eliminate one chord here. Um, <clears throat> but it gets it gets kind of bad. It gets down to like one chord per syllable, which is which is too hard for a praise band to, to play. It's easy for a pianist to play, but it's hard for everybody else. For guitarists, that'll kill your guitarist if you have one chord per syllable. Because chords on the piano are much easier to switch to than on a guitar. On a guitar, you have to switch your entire hand around to hit a different chord. And there's no way a guitarist is going to go, That's way too much for the guitars. So, um... See, oh, sing, oh, sing, all ye bright hosts of heaven above. That's almost one chord per syllable. No way the guitarist can follow that. If I was a guitarist, I'd just play lead guitar. I'd say, forget it. Let the pianist play their chords. So, again, we want to make it easier for people. So we would eliminate, like, we would sing choirs of angels about one chord per about one chord for every two beats is perfect <clears throat> oh sing choirs of angels sing in exhale we get rid of that sing in exhalation again we don't need this fancy little chord where the bass line is different than the than the regular chord we just need one of these so we'll probably get rid of this Sing choirs of angels, sing in exaltation. Oh, sing all ye bright hosts of heaven above. Right here we have, dun, dun, we have a chord per beat. And the pianist will play that fine, but that's going to kill our guitarists. We're not going to do that. We're going to eliminate half those. And we're going to keep it nice and simple for the praise band because simplicity is king when it comes to leading a praise band. Simplicity in your chord sheets is going to be king. It's better to have a super simple chord sheet and have the whole band play with confidence and lead worship with confidence than to have a super complicated chord sheet that sounds beautiful but only one or two people can play it and the rest of the band feels awkward because they're making mistakes on stage, they get red in the face, they don't want to volunteer next Sunday. There's a whole slew of problems that comes with that. I think the simpler the better. <clears throat> um, and here we have an example that we can add some coloration, some extra chords here in the chorus, which I'm probably going to do. Because this is simple and, and it for me, it's too simple. It might be good if you have a really amateur praise band. Just keep it that. Keep it that way. Keep it this simple. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Get rid of the B. Just keep the E. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the Lord. You know, uh, we'll play it through and see how it sounds.